Hi, good morning, Edison Eagles. This is your principal, Dr. Lee, and I have a special guest with me, Coach Thies. And now it is time for the pledge. Please stand up for the Pledge of Allegiance. Put your right hand over your heart. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which stands one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you so much. All right, what is our joke of the day? What lights up a soccer stadium? A soccer match. Get it? Match has two meanings. All right, our quote of the week. This one is from Albert Einstein. A ship is always safe at shore, but that is not what it's built for. Isn't that true? A ship, a beautiful, big, gigantic ship, or whatever it is, it's maybe it's beautiful and it's safe and it's nice and in some location, but you got to use it. You got to use it what it was built for. And that might apply to a lot of different things in your life. All right. Eagle fun facts. There are so many eagles here. Bald eagles are a national bird, and for most people in the U.S., they're a rare, magnificent sighting, but for us, it's just part of our daily lives. Everybody in town has an eagle story. Okay, that was a town called Analaska, Alaska, and I know that there are students out there because I came into some classes and someone asked me about traveling to Alaska. Alaska has a huge number of bald eagles, just like Canada has a lot of bald eagles because of where they, the kind of climate they like to live in. So if you ever want to see bald eagles when you grow up, Alaska is the place to go. All right, congratulations to our very own Coach Thieves. You are our staff award winner this week. We are recognizing you for having a great attitude, posting awesome videos, and helping kids keep moving and exercising. Congratulations, Coach Thieves. Thank you. I'm very touched. I appreciate that. Surprise. Surprise. <laughs> okay, we have a lot of students to shout out and recognize this week. Coach Thies, you can take it away. Okay, so for Mr. Briviesca's class, we have Alonso Munoz. He has excellent attendance participation and has high scores on quizzes and tests. Jose Benitez has excellent attendance and effort and high scores on quizzes and tests. Astri Herrera has excellent participation, completes all assignments, and pays attention during class. From Ms. Kepler Gonzalez, we have Mila, Aiden, and Legend. They have constant participation in class and they complete their classwork and homework assignments. Analia, Lionel, and Jacob, they come to class 100% of the time every single day and they complete all their classwork and homework assignments. For Ms. Martinez's class, we have Alex Perez, Zoe, Jesus, and Pablo. These students are very responsible in doing all of their assignments and following the directions in class. Their participation is outstanding. For Ms. Oliger, we have Asul. She is always trying her best and participates in class. For Ms. Wisdom, we have Mateo, uh, Mateo Gonzalez. He is always prepared and he works hard in his workspace. Um, okay, and then we have, sorry, a little, okay. So then we have Dylan, who tries his best to participate and follow along each and every day. And then we have Carla. She's been doing careful listening and participation each day, all day in Zoom. From Ms. Warner's class, we have Itzayana constantly participates in class. She's attentive to Zoom lessons and always volunteers. And Rena, um, she's been learning App Master. And she always completes and goes beyond her time on RAS, iReady, and ST Math. Finally, for Ms. Robertson, we have Isabella Hill. She always shows up for class meetings and completes her class and homework. And we have Mascherano, who consistently is willing to share his thinking with his classmates. Well done, everybody. Ooh, congratulations. Awesome. So many different winners this week. Incredible. Okay, so who I've chosen this week for the PE Awards in lower grades, we have Amiel. Great job, Amiel. 
And in our upper grades, we have Luca. I'm so proud of both of you. Thank you for all your hard work in PE. All right, congratulations. Now it's time for our fitness tip of the week. Hi, Anna Tenango. So I am here today with a special guest, Mrs. Delgado, and we are practicing our stretches. So as you see, I am stretching the back of my leg, and Mrs. Delgado is stretching the front of her leg. So those are two different stretches that you can do. Every stretch should be held for about 20 seconds. While I've been talking, it's been about 20 seconds, so we can switch to the other leg. You know what? We have two legs, so anytime you do one side, you always have to do the other one. So that's your tip for today. Practice those stretches. Hold them for 20 seconds each. And if you have two legs or two arms that you're stretching, make sure you do both sides. Thank you, Coach Thies. So what do you call the back of your leg and the front of your leg? What are those muscles called? Okay, so the back of the leg is the hamstring muscle. And the front of the leg is the quadricep muscle. And those are actually the top part of the leg. So we were both just stretching the, the top half of our leg. Those were two separate stretches that we were each doing. Awesome. Thank you so much for sharing. Always inspiring. I'm going to get out there and start moving. All right. Some reminders again. Here we are coming up to um, our... October 9th deadline for the LCFF survey, but students, make sure that you're doing your assigned homework, ST Math, Res, Kids I Ready, whatever it is, get that homework done. Make sure you stay on your Zoom classes. Your teachers want to see you there 100% of the time. Let's get some perfect attendance. We're going to recognize perfect attendance. Also, for parents who need help, remember you can email Ms. Cruz at mcruz7 at sandy, S-A-N-D-I dot net. Um, to help you register into your portal and also to complete the LCFF survey, okay? And of course, parents, we want to know what's important to you for uh, activities, workshops, education, uh, events this year. Even if they're going to be online, we want to know what's helpful for you, useful for you. So please fill out the survey in Dojo um, as well. Okay, thank you so much. Have a great week, Eagles. Thank you.